My name is Munira Pramji. I'm 54 years old and uh, um, in 2012 of February I was diagnosed with two cancers. You know, I remember the exact moment. It was February 3rd of 2012 at 4.08 p.m. Uh, Dr. Wu from uh, Toronto General Hospital came into my hospital bed and um, uh, told Nagib, my husband, and myself that tests showed that I had um, stage 3 multiple myeloma. And we just looked at him in complete disbelief, complete shock. We had expected perhaps that I may have anemia, but cancer? Cancer? Like, where did that come from? We were overwhelmed, we were shocked, we were just totally floored. And uh, I remember the first question I asked Dr. Wu was, how long do I have to live? And his answer was variable. Uh, you know, what does variable mean? You know, in my mind, I'd already decided that I had, you know, two weeks to live, and, and that was it. Uh, Nagib and I just held each other tight, wouldn't let go of each other. Um, we just didn't know how to continue. Um, you know, what happened to our dreams of living together happily ever after? Um, how do we tell our children? I mean, what, what does life look like after this? And between tears and, and heartbreak, um, we just held on to each other and, 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 and took comfort in that. And then, um, I became this frantic machine. I mean, I thought I had two weeks to live, and I remembered that our um, house needed hardwood floors. And, you know, I just started making phone calls, like random phone calls, because I wanted these hardwood floors done. And three days after my diagnosis, our house had hardwood floors. Um, but things were going to get worse, so much worse. I was back at work. And Dr. Jean Wang, our hematologist, phoned me at work to say that my bone marrow was doing some funny stuff and I needed to come back for more tests. And those further tests revealed that I had a very aggressive moving stage four non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Um, Dr. Wang um, referred me to an oncologist um, by the name of Dr. Tiedemann who had expertise in both myeloma and lymphoma. And uh, when he looked at my situation, he said, you know, we've got to put the myeloma on hold and we've got to really focus on getting rid of the uh, lymphoma, otherwise you're just not going to make it. And that's what happened. Um, basically, the treatment for the lymphoma was uh, very invasive, um, chemotherapy called RCHOP, and uh, I went through this chemotherapy every three weeks for a full day, and, um, you know, this continued for four months, and uh, I got to tell you, it was not an easy experience. Um, during that time, I got so many infections, and I just ended up um, going to the hospital with febrile neutropenia, which really means high fever, and I would end up staying in the hospital for many days. Um, but, you know, uh, through all of that, um, God was right there looking after me. And uh, four months uh, later, I uh, was able to overcome the lymphoma and uh, was declared by Dr. Tiedemann, um, you know, said that the, the, the lymphoma was now in remission. 
Um, one of the, the times that I remember most vividly about this experience was um, when I was in emergency one time and the doctors in emergency had pretty much given up on me and they had prepared me and my family um, to the fact that I might not make it. My hemoglobin count was very, very low at 36. Uh, my family and I were sitting together uh, praying and I remember looking at each one of them and thinking this is the absolute last time that I'm going to ever pray with them. And I remember wishing them each really well through their lives and, uh, and then ended up in intensive care for, for a couple of days. But again, you know, God basically looked after me and I, and I, and I remember dreaming that he said, you know, I got this one, I got this one, you'll be fine. Um, so with the treatment of lymphoma done, we went to Florida for a week of vacation, came back, and in July we started treatment for the multiple myeloma. Um, the treatment for multiple myeloma was so different. Uh, one of the things was, uh, you know, a different kind of chemo, which was uh, once a week, every week, for a, a period of time. Uh, myeloma is a pesky disease, you know, there is no cure for it at this point. Uh, my uh, oncologist recommended that I uh, have a stem cell transplant, which I did in February of this year. And that was a very interesting process. We had to go with harvesting my own stem cells, collecting them, and then freezing them until it was ready for transplant time. So the transplant happened uh, about three months ago. And uh, what the transplant does is it keeps the cancer away for about uh, two years. Um, and then it's time for another transplant. So my hope right now is, uh, you know, I'm at a place where my lymphoma is in remission, my myeloma is sort of at bay, and my hope is that we're able to find a cure for the myeloma during my lifetime. Thank you.